Welcome to Yankee Stadium. The baseball season is beautiful. It's almost never what you expect. Each season, there are players who come from out of nowhere and become contributors and prove that when you challenge professional athletes, some will fold and others will rise to the occasion and perhaps build a new future for themselves and for their team. It's beautiful. Before last season, Luis Heal appeared as the number five prospect in the Yankees' top ten rankings, behind familiar names Clark Schmidt and Davey Garcia. But by the end of the season, he'd far surpassed them in both prospect lists and in actual performance. After a solid performance in the minors in which he went 5-1 with a 3.97 ERA across two levels, Luis Heal was called up to make his Major League debut on August 3rd against the Orioles. And even though it was the Orioles, he looked fantastic. Six shutout innings, four hits, one walk, six strikeouts, and a blazing upper 90s fastball. He followed that up on August 8th with five more shutout innings against the Seattle Mariners, allowing just two hits and striking out eight. This is when I anointed him with the nickname that I'm hoping will catch on, The Real Deal. Word to Evander Holyfield. Nine days later against Boston, more of the same. Four and two-thirds shutout innings. When Luis Heal struck out Teoscar Hernandez to end the third inning on September 8th, he had run his scoreless inning streak to begin his career up to 18 and two-thirds innings, officially passing slow Joe Doyle for the longest streak to begin a Yankees career and wasn't as sharp the rest of the way, but nevertheless finished out the season with a very solid 3.07 ERA and 38 strikeouts in 29 and a third innings pitched. According to Baseball Savant, his fastball ranks in the 88th percentile in the league in terms of velocity with an average velo of 96.1 miles per hour. He was also in the 90th percentile with spin, a little bit more command, and he's got a true top-of-the-rotation pitch. His slider was sharp, and hitters hit just 135 against it, while also hitting 143 against his changeup, which is, in my opinion, a bit too fast at 92.1 miles per hour on average. You'd like to see a little bit more separation in velocity between his fastball and his changeup. You'd like it to be somewhere closer to 10 miles per hour difference rather than the 4 miles per hour it is now. He'll walk too many hitters. 19 walks in 29 in the third innings is too much. But there's a ton to like about this kid. And I'd imagine that as the Yankees work on trade proposals this winter, a lot of teams are going to be asking about the 23-year-old right-hander. Personally, I think the Yankees should not only hold on to him, but give him a shot to win a rotation spot in spring training. Swing and miss stuff doesn't grow on trees, and a live arm like Luis Heal is one of the most valuable assets that the Yankees have. I guess we'll see. But whether it's the Yankees or someone else, I continue to believe Luis Heal is the real deal, and I hope that he'll continue to improve. The future looks very bright.